So for this example, what you're going to want to do is pretty simple. Um, I have a spreadsheet, which you know you're familiar with how to import products, name, type, ID, responsible, right? Because those are the mandatory fields. If I look here, name, type, Category ID, and then uh, responsible. So what you also want to do is you want to add vendors here. So don't bring products into the system based on what a specific vendor calls it. So don't say like, oh, well, I buy product one from vendor, you know, John Jones, but I buy, buy that uh, product two, which is technically the same thing as product one from vendor, you know, Tony Reynolds. Don't do that. That's not, and store them both in the system as product one, and then store the unique vendors whom you buy that product from here. And it's pretty simple to import them, right? Because here is my seller ID name, seller ID product name, right? Because if I click on this, here are all the data points that I want to store from this vendor. I want to store, for example, what's the vendor's name? What does the vendor call this specific product? What's the vendor's internal reference code for it? What's the lead time, minimum quantity? How much do I pay this vendor for this product, etc.? So to import that, we'll just create something here called Jason Rue product. And store here are the vendors, store our prices, export, import, load valid Jason root product and here are a list of my vendors I buy it from so watch what happens when I type in so here's the for Tony Reynolds is the vendor here's what the product here's what Tony Reynolds Reynolds calls this product and here's Tony Reynolds internal product code for this product watch what happens when I add it to a purchase order See, I can only see the names. There's two because I already imported it as another test product. Um, but you can see here, I open this up. There's my JSON root product. That I, that's what I call it internally. And that's what I sell it by. But when Tony, I sell it to Tony Reynolds, he calls it this. I can always you know, do another code here. Or when I sell it to vendor X, you'll see it'll come up as whatever. Watch. Same product in my system. Ready? Like this. And I see whatever product now. The whatever product. This one's called high because that's how I imported it twice with the same name um, but if I go to I think it's this one that's another product I did as a demo so it's this one and that'll be our JSON root product right because vendor X that's what they call it so there's options for you here right that's how you can store these all route back to the same product because you don't want to have hundreds of thousands of products just because you, a vendor calls them a different name doesn't mean you have to call them a different name. Odoo will still accommodate that though. See this? So if I type whatever here, and then if I send this off, or better yet, print this, Description to my vendor, it's whatever product. That's the name of it. Here's all the details. So the, when the vendor gets it, it'll see, oh, Jason wants this product. But really, when Jason turns around and sells product 12321, or that's the, excuse me, when he sells this whatever product, he's really going to sell the Jason Rue product. 
right? He's still going to go, I don't have sales installed, but yeah, when you sell it on a sale order, it'll come up as that chasing your product. So let me know if you have any questions there.